personal story segment tonight, texting. As you may know, I'm not a big fan of the devices, which I call machines. Millions of people all over the world now addicted to them. That's causing a myriad of unintended consequences, including traffic deaths. For the first half of 2016, U.S. traffic fatalities on the road were up more than 10 percent. Almost 18,000 people died in this country just in the first half of the year. While drunk driving is the big culprit, the use of smartphones by drivers becoming a major problem, especially among younger Americans. Joining us out in Boston, Karen Ruskin, a, a psychotherapist. So, doctor, let's deal with the texting addiction first. Am I overstating this? You are not overstating this. I am seeing a compulsion, a need, a yearning to connect with others. In essence, this device has become a vessel and it has become people's everything. Whether you're connecting with a friend, whether you're checking your Facebook status, whether you're putting something on Twitter, whether you're talking to a family member, whether you're sending an email, whether you're making a phone call, whether you're looking for what the next new item is to wear, what the discount is, this device has become an appendage, a must-have now, as though it's urgent, a need to respond with urgency. Okay, now, what happens when the device breaks or some kid gets punished and the parent takes it away? Is there a, a visceral reaction? Right. I have seen more and more families coming in because of the stress related to the family relationship dynamic when the technology, the cell phone is involved. Kids get emotionally upset. I'm seeing anxiety reaction. I'm seeing family members who are accusing their parents or their child or their teen of being, in essence, a text addict or a phone addict. They are hooked on phone and people become defensive. No, I'm not. Literally, as they're looking on their phone, I'm not texting. I'm not doing it. This has become a serious problem. Okay. Denial, so, and then by, addiction. By extension, if you're in the car and you hear the thing ping or vibrate, then you reach to find out what's happening because you can't wait to 10 minutes till you get to the 7-Eleven in the parking lot. That's right. Can't, can't wait. Have to see it now. Must look. Must know. Who's texting me? What's happening? That is the concern because if you're responding in that jerky movement, I have to look here. I have to look now. Whether you're driving or whether you're even walking. Heck, yeah, on walking. my way to drop off my son at school, I, I see teenagers walking to school with their face in their phone. There's no awareness of what's going on around you. And it's not just teens. It's not just millennials. It's adults. It is. It's becoming a, an overwhelming problem that very few people acknowledge. Doctor, we appreciate your expertise. Thank you. We come right back, Bernie Goldberg, on whether the debate moderators can be fair to